Okay, I want to do a follow-up on iPeng. The old version I used to have installed was a beta. Now they've updated to a couple new versions, and this is 1.2.1, I believe. And just download it in the App Store. Well worth the $10. Um, if you go to the App Store, you know, it pulls up a little bit of information about iPeng. Gives you a couple screenshots of the program. And I do want to say the new version is much better than the beta. It's running much smoother and George is doing an excellent job on this program and the version is 1.2.1 and I've already got it installed so there's no point in going through the installation but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you get to iTunes okay so got iPeng right here the icons changed a little bit but still the same program just running much better right now I've got a squeeze box one of the original squeeze boxes set up which you can see over here in the stereo system okay and what I want to do is just go through a couple of the menus real quick and show you some of the differences in the new version versus the old beta that I uh, had done my review on last time one of the cool features he's got now is when you first pull up your screen you've got the different uh, input devices that you can use because right now I've got uh, I think three or four laptops they're all running squeeze center and each one of them has its own hard drive so any music you've got downloaded to any specific computer you can switch between the computers down here just by clicking on which computer you're going to click on to um, I'm going to go to this one but then I'm going to go back because right now neither one of these hard drives or computers actually have the external hard drives hooked up but when you click on it you'll see that it takes you, it wants you to verify that you want to go to that computer and just for now we'll say OK, check it, done now it's going to switch over to that particular computer OK, see, there we go now it's switched over to the Baby Acer 2 which is the one that I uh, unfortunately don't have all my music right now so we're going to go back to the original Acer that was on a second ago hit done, verify it then it switches back to that computer. So it's actually checking all the different computers on your network that are running Squeeze Center, so you can choose any of them. Okay, once you're back on that drive, then you can come over here. And the arrow, this, this part is still a little confusing to me. There's still a lot of little features in here that I haven't gone through and checked everything yet, but um, to get to your playlist, or not your playlist, but your actual uh, music, you go to the arrow, <coughs> it's going to take you back to your artist album so you can scroll through and you can see it's much faster I mean much faster than the original one was if you look at my other video um, it shows you what the what the speed of was that one at the time and it's much much better um, so if you can scroll through to anything you want and uh, let's scroll through to I like over here on the side he's got the little buttons just like I, iTunes that you can scroll down to the the artist based on the letter so you can scroll quickly through your drive um, I'm just gonna go to say I don't know, Prodigy and what it does is it accesses the information on the hard drive and pulls it up much much faster probably th I bet you three or four times faster than it used to so it's giving you a list of um, uh, I'm not sure if these are the albums, these are the actual songs, they're individual songs. So, <clears throat> now up here is the part that still, I think, needs a little refinement, but it still works well. Up here next to this little arrow, if you click on the arrow, that's going to show you your current playlist. Right now, there's like nothing. So we'll go back. And the plus sign right here will add songs to the playlist. If you click on the arrow with the bar it'll play whichever song you click on next if you click on again with just the play arrow any song you click on is the song it will play and at the same time unfortunately it wipes out most of your playlist if you've built it up already I've noticed I've made that mistake a few times so be very careful not to have that arrow visible and click on a song and expect it to show up in your playlist because it'll just overwrite your playlist with the song you play so we'll go back to making a playlist and it's very simple any song you click on will be added to the playlist so we'll hit one two three you know, four five now when you click on the little black penguin again 
now it should, all those songs I clicked on show up in the playlist. Very, very simple. Um, and every all the features work as expected. Your volume control, play, pause, hit play. See, it's very, very fast. Much faster than it used to be. Pause, play, go to the next song. Okay, so you can see it's much faster than it used to be, which is really nice. And the menu is getting better, and the layout seems to be pretty nice right now. Um, <coughs> so we'll go back, hit pause, and go back to artists, and you can scroll through anything you want if you want to search for something. Um, I don't have the search button down here in the bottom, as you can see, but if you hit more, search is one of the options. If you want to edit this, you can juggle around which icon is going to show up down here in the bottom. I personally don't use search very much because I know <coughs> which uh, artist I have, so I don't really mess with it very often. But if you want to, you can just hit search and type in um, anything you want. Tell it to search. <coughs> now, right now, it's scouring your entire hard drive, which is on a wireless laptop in a different room. We've got uh, a little uh, $200 Acer One Mini 9 inch laptop with an external hard drive plugged into it running this right now. So, it's not the fastest computer in the world, and it still runs very efficiently. So, um, you can see, you type in new pulls up a ton of stuff and you can see how fast the scrolling is and this is all you know on the fly list that was pulled up off the hard drive just by typing in the keywords so you can see it is really quick and seems to run very very well um, most of the features seem to be the same um, there's not a lot of new information on here I mean they have changed the layout quite a bit um, go to albums. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of my album cover work artwork in here, but you can see right here now it's synchronizing. So it's going to synchronize the cache between Squeeze Center and the iPod or iPhone right now. And basically, it's gathering up all, it's probably actually going to pull most of these images in because I haven't bothered going into albums before. I don't go search very often that way. So it's probably synchronizing all the cover artwork, which I really don't want to mess with. It's going to take too long. <coughs> so. We'll go back over here, and um, one of the cool things I like is uh, favorites. If you go to your favorites, that you've got saved on um, uh, da, 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 more. I'll get off the search. Go to favorites. Pulls up all the favorites that you've saved in Squeeze Center, which is pretty nice. So you can scroll down through all these and uh, a lot of this is just miscellaneous stuff um, and anything you click on you can hit play add it to the because remember we got the playlist going so say we're just going to add it to the playlist now when you go back to the playlist there it is right there at the bottom which is pretty cool and instant you can see how much faster it is than before way way faster um, in here <coughs> if you want to remove things from your playlist you come up here to your edit button anything you check through here you can turn them on or turn them off, and then you're going to hit the recycle bin. Boom, gone. So you can go through and save your playlists. If you want to save it? You can type in a name. We're not going to save this because it's just temporary. Um, and to get back out of this, you can click on there. It takes you back to the original playlist. This takes you back to we were in favorites, so it takes us back there. Click on artists. We're back to artists. Um, like I said, it's real fast. Way, way better than it used to be. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Those are the major updates. I mean, it's it's faster. The menu's changed. Um, but other than that, it's still the same iPing that it was. Um, this feature in here is pretty nice. Being able to flip back and forth between computers if you've got multiple computers in the house with music on different drives. We've tried to condense everything onto one drive, but when you're running random, you wind up getting a lot of music you don't want to listen to because it's from somebody else's playlist or their hard drive. And we actually wound up splitting all the music back up onto multiple drives so we can switch back and forth depending on who's listening. Um, <coughs> but 
I guess that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else new and amazing other than just the speed and these menus. The layout seems to be much nicer to scroll through. And um, I guess that's it. Alright, bye-bye.